Yo, everyone. We're back of Tales of Arise. I'm starting off back here on, uh, Dana. Because I waited before I started this recording. I left the game open, and I have decided that I want to get a new conversation. Huh? Something smells nice. After we get this. It's probably the accessory I picked up earlier. It uses materials that put off a pleasing aroma. Huh. Ooh, that sounds lovely. I'm jealous. And well, how do you speak? How I'm do you sure speak without your you. mouth moving? Really? I'd love to. All right, let's cook. Uh, roasted chicken. Have I cooked this one before? Done. This is sure to give the others some much-needed energy. Nope. What? Uh. Okay, so we maxed out law already. That means we have four more options. I think I'm... Well, I might be maxed out with everyone, but I think I'm going to prioritize Dohalim. Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? Would you perchance be interested in going on a walk together? Why, yes, my, my, not on guard duty my for lord. Few hours, which is why I want to walk. To hear the music in these parts. The music? Music? Where are you going to find musicians all the way out here? Good question. There's more to music than what people play. It's in the grass, fluttering in the wind, the leaves and the trees, and the songs of birds and insects. Once you open your ears, you'll find that music is truly everywhere in this world. What sounds like music depends on who's listening, huh? <laughs> it's an interesting idea. But I think it might be a little too difficult for me. The music of nature, one might say. Speaking of music, whatever happened to your instruments? You used to be a musician, didn't you? Those are well out of my reach at this point. That aside, I don't feel that I yet have the right to play any of them again. You could say that it is in part my way of atoning for that which I have failed to do over the years. Makes sense. Meaning that you haven't completely given up on making things right. Do you think me a fool stuck in the past? Not at all. In fact, he's a fool and he knows nothing. You sound like you're still holding out hope for a brighter future. But he's a, Picture a yourself very nice being able fool. To play your music again. Doesn't that motivate you to keep going even when things get tough? Hmm? I see what you mean. I didn't realize that drive still lingered within me. When the going gets tough, the, the tough get in going. Heart is sure to manifest in their music. Hmm. However, I promise you that one day, when that darkness has finally lifted, I shall let you hear me perform. Well, now that you've said it, you're going to have to follow through. <laughs> I look forward to hearing you play. I do as well. I suppose we should call it a day. And we are now closer to Dohlim. Is that the last one, or do I have one more? <laughs> Once we finish eating, it was we not the going. last one. Okay. I'll have to wait more for that. So for now, I'm just going to fast travel to Lenigus and we'll continue onwards. See you in a bit. This is taking forever. Ah, we're finally back here. Good lord, game. That's so whack that they don't give you, like... Like, on Lenigus, they only give you one fast travel point out of all of these pages. It's so weird, man. And it's like the only area that's like that. Most of the others are pretty good. Anyways, what type of man are we talking about? We're talking about a mansion? We're a long way from the residential quarters now. It looks completely different. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this place, it reminds me more of being back inside the wedge. I'm glad Elfin brought that up because I actually thought that last time. Even stronger here. In a portion of the city reserved purely for the Renan Sovereign. Maybe he just has strange tastes? <laughs> This place looks like it has been here for quite some time now. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would be talking from centuries ago. Or perhaps even further back. Maybe that explains Still, why they have such weird this taste. This is sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. So what is it then? Maybe you're well, just uh, out of the loop, Doholim. Artistic circles? When a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. Kitsch? I'd be happy to illuminate you further. I don't think Law that knows depends. Kitsch. Does it involve you buying me lunch? The void that art fills isn't the stomach. 
It's the soul. Bruh, these two. Case, I'll let you know the next time my soul starts to rumble. Rumbling. Now all we need is something to fill up the void inside your head. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> this is not the conversation I was expecting to have outside of like what could be one of the biggest fights in this game. But you know what? Leave it to this crew of of ragtag misfit, mis misfitic idiots, lunatics. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. Volron. Really oh shit! Alive. Bro's chained up. Is that the Dark Core? The oh no, that's a Renis Alma. Never mind. Then, is this another spirit? Wait, what's he ceremony? saying? Wait though. Five becomes six. Fires of chaos. The world does seek its fires of chaos. Must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena at the shrine. His outfit's still too is so cool. What has happened to him? He's lost himself, reduced to a mere cog in a machine. I mean, did he ever really have himself to begin with? Over there. Isn't that the maiden's crest? What? That this what, what do you mean? Is meant to act as a substitute for the maiden? Oh my god. It looks like it's still running, but are we already too late to stop the ceremony? Mm, it's never too That's late. what caused Lenegus's transformation. And the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. What the shit? But for what purpose? What could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? Uh something for Rena but whatever it is i'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion mm, could be i mean it would take a lot in order to freaking destroy life and let them steal dana's energy that said we should retrieve the renis alma because right now we need that most of all true He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Oh, well, he's chained down, so. The red woman. Oh God, it's her. Creepy as so music. Finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait. What? What? Huh? They all have the same face. Oh God. How is that even possible? <clears throat> Still as creepy as before. Still has the alien eyes. What? Oh, big shocker. They're like some type of demon. You look like something out of Devil May Cry. What the hell is this? It can't be. Are they even people? It's hard to know for sure, but I think they're the true rulers of Rena. What? I'm so confused, bro. Red Woman times three. Feeling particularly talkative. It's no use, Elfin. If we don't fight, we may as well be sitting just here. Good point. Out of Let's here. Stop them before this gets out of hand. They're just regular enemies. Interesting. Also, I because since we got another master art, I looked into how you're supposed to how to activate over limit easier. And apparently it works either by getting hit or dodging. Or perfect dodging to be specific. So I'm gonna try to to pay a special attention to attack animations. Which considering these enemies just have a bunch of chakrams, that's gonna be difficult. Bloody howling. That's an interesting title. Thunderfang. Get him. Oh, never mind. It, they're like a collective boss, I guess, as can see, be seen at the top there. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Did I say you could run? The answer is I didn't. Okay, one, two. 
three, four, five, six. Yeah! Hit him with it. She. Okay, we actually got to see it. Sick. I'm happy about that. We finally got to see what that even looks like. Well, I say finally, but we literally just unlocked it like last episode. But no, we're doing good. Ow. Almost got him down to half. Oh, one of them. Oh, wait, no, all of them awakens. Oh, no. Sometimes I forget that I have regular attacks as well. Okay. This is... That was not a smart idea on my part, not gonna lie. I will not get over the fact that he says Dragon Shout when it says Dragon Shot on the other thing. Like, the, the, the inconsistencies, they bother me. Okay, so I guess white, uh, sorry, not white, light would be good. I mean, I guess, eh, a lot of the times light is white. I mean, usually it's either, it's either white or yellow. Depends on the type of light bulb you got, I guess. Bop. I need to stop. I'm doing certain things like on instinct now. And it is not a good thing. Right, I forgot about Eagle Assault. It's one of the few I have not been using whatsoever. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? I'm gaming. Your boy is going. In. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm getting comboed. Never mind. You know what? You know what? Yeah. Talk shit. Get hit. Yep. Yep. That 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 sounds about right. Oh, never mind. I'm godlike. I'm godlike. I am godlike until I'm not. See, like right now, I'm not godlike. But when I pull off cool stuff like this, I am godlike. That's just how this works. Holy shit. Yo, triple lasers. That's kind of that's kind of raw. Get owned. Get owned. Here we go. Body. Whoa. Hit him. Hit him with it. Hit him with the baby. Kick him. Kick him. Kick him. I say kick him. You see what happened there is you crossed me. Burn strike. Hit him with it. Damn. I was going to try to do the master right a second time, but you know what? That works too. We take those. Simple as that. Surrender. Fighting is useless now. Mudada. Do you think it's really over? Probably not. It's a bit too easy of a final boss. Still energy. Watch out! They've got something up their sleeve. Also, while this doesn't look like a bad finale stage, it also looks what? like it could be more. Self-destructed. Alvin. Whoa. I'm okay. He's good. Just a little roughed up. So. Be worried there. Are we gonna get the Renaissance now? Just like that? What are we gonna cut him loose? Who said you could touch that? What? Hmm. 
I ate all of the Mick and Muggies. He's awake! Hmm. I should have thought as much. So you know this place? Naturally, it was built for me, after all. By who? We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Okay, but you're up there and we're down there here. Insist on hating me. Then who's the caveman? Sovereign or not, you will pay for that. Shion's like, I try me. You can't even move right now. Oh really? Really, is that what you Oh god, he actually said that. Twing. Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Are you going to claim it's because you're a ruler? I can break these Be cuffs. It sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. You can't break Lord, those cuffs. What kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alpha, who happens to be another sovereign? I mean, I not wrong. Rattle. I proved my worth and the sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? <laughs> totally. We already know the title of sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with the designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. And every one of them besides me. Died. And apparently this nerd. All of those failed experiments and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. True. Then there were the records we found in the library for you and Volron. They were locked 300 years apart, and yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. Whatever they need, they needed multiple they of? Volron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... A slave from Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right? Volron. So even a sovereign is just a figurehead who's actually so a slave still. Renin and caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? If you knew the pain of being a slave, why would you inflict that upon others? <laughs> Renin and Danon are meaningless distinctions. Me and everyone else. That is all that matters. Damn. Saturday night cartoon villain. Take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. <laughs> Alien woman says, "Bitch, you thought." A red woman. She's even got the, the she's even got the Hime haircut. The master back on Rena, this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Master back on Rena. What? Uh oh. Serena, it's Alma. When the cold brew hits, <laughs> fire, thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Volron is just being left to rot. Damn, girl. Sorry. Oh, shit. Not, not the right time for me to be paying attention to her assets. Jump for it. Come. You already know what to do, girl. Get that run and start. Say no. Oh, fuck. Let me guess the others gonna help. Oh, never mind. He's just that based. He doesn't need the help of his friends. Also, Volron's pissed. Go, but 
know I will be your shadow no matter where you try to run. Okay, nerd. You know, didn't you say you could break it? You could get out of that thing and it couldn't hold you? Then why are you still just tamed up there, bitch? Never forget. I am the one who devours everything. Who answers to neither spirit nor man. My word is law. I am. I am. Bitch, you could have gotten are out of there. Okay? Yeah. We'll Turns out you were just that. A bitch. Is Volron... Have we finally seen the last of him? Mm. We can but hope. We can but hope. Those red women. What the heck was their deal? I was expecting a second fight Could with Volron. they Volrun. be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? Hmm. What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renesalma. Damn it, that's the second time now! Law Cohen, someone else brainless. <laughs> We'll steal it back. Oh, the future's um, ours to protect. And right now, those things are what's standing in our way. Tales of Arise trying not to use this theme challenge off, failed. Renna. Did you say Renna? Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the motherland somewhere. If that monstrous form Damn. their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not human. That's for sure. Mm hmm. So this thing over on Rena, that's what's really behind all this, huh? They have the Renesalma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. Then we're agreed. Let's head back to the starship. Okay, am I gonna actually be allowed to fast travel but now? Seriously, I was not expecting Voron to actually be no. here. He seemed to care not one whit about Brennan's or Danans. Yeah, and not in a good way, like with us. All right. Well, let's check the skit at least. I didn't see that coming about Volron. As for those red women, to think they were monsters all along. Who would have thought it from Tell the black it. pupils? One minute they look perfectly human. Next thing you know, they're not actually human at all. They definitely weren't Renan or Danan. I'm not even sure language would get through to them. So what were they then? Human Zugal hybrids? Is the most terrifying thing anyone said all day. <laughs> How about you, Shion? Dorling? You ever seen anything like that before? No, never. However, if they're the same as the red woman we've seen with Volron, I think it's safe for us to assume they understand our language at the very least. Hmm. I had just so much I wanted to ask them. About Rena and Shion's thorns. Questions for later. Unfortunately, they blew themselves up before we got the chance. Why would they do such a thing, though? To take us with them? Or in order to keep something hidden? Both sound plausible to my ears. They took off with the Renis Alma, too, remember? Is it like a hive mind, or...? And the next time we meet them, we're going to make sure they tell us everything they know. Hmm. I noticed we got two skills up here. Demon Lance forms a Spear of Darkness and throws it. Always happy to have that type of stuff. Anti-Dragon damage. Uh, Divine Saber. Restored from crits. Hmm. Huh. Cast in resilience, age. Oh no, I wanted to do that. That's what I need. Okay, let's go to Dohleem's arts now. Eagle Rage, Tornado Driver, Rotating Pile Driver. Eagle Rage is on here twice, so I'm gonna use this. And there, now we have six different things on him. Oh my. Game's really gonna make me walk all the way back, huh? Fine then, I'll torment everyone else with the same thing, assuming we don't get a cutscene. Time for the slow walk back, because for some reason the game is forcing us to do so. I swear, if it makes us walk all the way back and there isn't even anything on the way, that's gonna be not fun. Not fun at all. So this is a really small door frame compared to most other stuff. Like, there's a lot of grand 
grandiose doors around here. But this one, not really among them. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. All right. Uh, I can use. Yeah, I can use one of these. That way, I can actually take this. Yoink! I'm smart. Now I'm thinking with math. You know, that kind of just made what I was doing earlier null and void, but who cares? <laughs> Aritekeno yume wo kaki atsume Sagashimono sagashini yuku no sa Oh, one piece Oh, excuse me Ah, fuck Oh, I tried to sneak through the door, man Couldn't make it Door stuck Door stuck Please Wee Bitch, you already ran away, Law Chill. Fucking dumbass. Ah. I again tried to sneak through the door. It did not work. No, I don't have spirit. I have hands. Hands and determination. Not, not that I'm gonna use them against a, a doofus like you. Bye, bitch. I'm out of here. Radioactive looking ass. I, hit, I was trying to think of a fun thing. A funny haha. -ha. It did not work. That was all I could come up with. Sometimes you try to be comedic and you really can't come up with much. This is how the cookie crumbles, I am afraid. We're finally out of here, after having to walk all that way for some reason. What the? When did it get pitch dark all of a sudden? I don't know, maybe it's in the, the nighttime? All out. Oh. Think it has something to do with the explosion back in the Forbidden Zone? Doe? Doe? A do. You two. Faria, Avakir. Thank goodness you're safe. Wait, you just called him Do instead of his Avakir full name? Avakir filled me in about everything. Uh oh. About how I ambushed you all. She doesn't remember a thing. So she really was being controlled. Seems likely. He told me about Tarnigan, too. Is it true? What difference does it make? What's done is done. Stop casting me off just for what? Faria, once. not now. It can wait. Dohalim, Lenegas is in grave peril. So I can see. I've wait. I've heard his voice before. It's the city's core. Avakir's. I didn't realize it until Some now. Of the basic systems we've managed to keep online, but complete restoration still. I'll have to off. check him out in between uh, an elite recordings. Now. You can fix it, right? If so, then what's the problem? Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. Oh, Until now, whenever something like this happened, the Sovereign would issue a decree. <laughs> oh, ha 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 But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer and we run the risk of riots breaking out before we can get things back up and running. Hmm. Forget the Sovereign. I doubt you'll be hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know something I don't? Uh, kind of. Suffice it to say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. That is, if he ever even existed. Which is looking doubtful at this stage. Are you out of your mind? Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy, they'd- There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegas from spiraling out of control. 
We need to Luckily, stop we have riots. another sovereign with us. <laughs> but how do we do that? Not that anyone will pay him any mind. Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the peace, we just need to put people's minds at ease. At ease? Like by letting them hear directly from someone they trust. That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in Lenigus right now? Lenigus wouldn't have a next in line. After all, you said the Sovereign rules over everyone directly, right? Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lord. And the only one left <laughs> is... Ah. Very well, then. He's just like, ah, uh, great, I have to do shit. <laughs> Vakir, you mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? Good old freaking Dohuim. Uh, why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? Please, won't somebody explain what's going on? Is it over? What's going to happen to all of us? Heed me now, fellow Renans of Lenigus. There he be. It is I, Lord Dohalim Ilkaris of Elder Menencia. Look up there, it's Lord Dohalim. Hold on, he should be in the crown contest. Shouldn't he? Why Shouldn't is the he? sovereign talking to us? The Sovereign is seen to other matters right now. In my capacity as Lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid. As people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to put your fears to rest. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter, and things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned. Perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Lenigus. Not the lords and sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. <laughs> if we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, if we put our hearts and minds together and stand as one, I am confident we will find a new hope. I would be honored to stand with you. Not as a person of lofty or rank, but as another human being among many. I hope that you'll lend me your strength, for if we can persevere as one, I know a bright tomorrow awaits. Damn, nice timing. Oh god, wait, it's too bright. Ah, turn it down! Turn down the lights! Dim them! Your speech seems to have done the trick. Looks like the city won't be descending into chaos after all. I only pray the relief will tide the city over for the time being. Hmm. What you said earlier, about the Sovereign possibly not even existing, was it true? It's still too premature to say with any certainty, but I believe so. This whole time, this world we've been fed was a lie. Built on nothing but falsehoods. But it can't all have been. I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone, what they did to Faria, it's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about hierarchy, Avakir? Authority? The very foundations of Renan's society? How can we live without someone to guide us? I'd say we found someone capable of doing just that, wouldn't you? The next ruler of Rena. You? You can't be serious. I have business I must take care of first. But once everything is over, I shall return. The most fit man for the job. But not as your sovereign, nor as a leader, the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. But how else do you propose to rule? I'm not sure yet. All I have is a feeling that here in Lenigus. A new dawn is on the verge of breaking. Hmm. One in which people won't be judged by birthright or on the power of their astral arts, but on other things. More important things. Things like, oh, I don't know, musical talent, for example. <laughs> when I bumped into you after all those years, I said you were no different. But I was wrong. Truth is, you were always different. Wow. I feel like, like 
Maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. To see a future. I, I feel like I've heard Faria's voice actress as well. You go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenigus till you get back. It almost kind of sounds Thank like you. it almost kind of sounds like Kasumi from Persona 5. Or Persona 5 Royal, I should say. I guess you're not going to make it to Menencia for the foreseeable future, huh? Indeed. Shrugs. Forgive me. And hey, Kisara, maybe you could take care of. Look after oh yeah. Just fine. That too. It's the ones here on Lenigus who need someone to guide them. Besides, with you leading the people here, it'll help spread the idea of coexistence beyond Menencia's borders that much faster. Sounds like you're in it for the long haul. <laughs> How could I not be, after the second chance that I've been granted? From this day forth, I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants of this world. Though the memories of the departed shall remain forever in my heart. Remember, you're going to be leading the people here, not ruling them. True enough. Whatever would I do without you, Kisara? With or without her, I suspect you're going to have your hands full when the time comes. Ain't that right. We should be heading back to the ship. Business on Rena awaits. <laughs> Got a lot to get to. Oh, shit. Renan leader. AG up. Damn, my man. Defense plus 50. Relieving the people of Lenigus of their fear, Dohalim stands tall and no longer burdened by his past. Shit, that's a good one over there. Down damage, improve healing arts, ground dasher. I I def I feel like I definitely need to get this one. Then I'll get that one after. I'll probably just work on this entire tree, honestly. It sounds like a real worthwhile one to get. <laughs> Penetration plus 30. Sorry, I'm a child. Looks like the people of Lenigus can rest easy. I couldn't have done it without your words of encouragement, Law. Hey, you're the one who made the speech. I think everybody can share the credit here. Time to become our own master now. In one sense, when all is said and done, perhaps I have been a slave this whole time too. You, a Renan Lord. How do you figure that exactly? I was complicit in the Renan system, bound by its values, resigned to being swept along without the resolve to take a stand. And when I realized the severity of my mistake, all I longed for was punishment, a lord. And yet my first instinct was to place my fate in the hands of others. Wow. I think I can relate. I couldn't stand watching my people bow and scrape their way through life, but I didn't know what else I could do about it either. The ability to think for yourself and be your own master. That's what separates a slave from a free person. At least, that's what Law's dad Zephyr used to say. Zephyr taught me how to fight. But in doing so, he also taught me how to live. A true Even real one. Stumbling along the way. If it's on a road of our own choosing, free of regret. Why, that's the road of freedom. Or, to put it another way. So long as his heart is compromised, even the loftiest of kings is no freer than a slave. I think I finally understand now. This Zephyr character sounds like he was a wise man indeed. I only wish I could have met him. I wish you could have as well. So much I wish I could ask him, especially now. I wonder, have I been correctly carrying on the torch that he passed to me? Ah, I miss Zephyr. What a great character he was. His time was his time wasn't long, but I certainly enjoyed him. Ganabelt was a true piece of shit for what he did to him. Not, not gonna lie. How long have you known? Known what? About the darkness I carry inside me. You seem to have been aware of it for quite some time now. Why ask me now? What does it matter? But yes, I have. I've pretty much known that something was gnawing at you ever since we left Menencia. So basically since the very start of our journey then, 
Just when I thought I couldn't feel more ashamed. <laughs> Leave the past where it belongs. We have no need for it now. You're forging ahead. That's what matters. If my brother Full of good one-liners, aren't you? <laughs> not as proud as he would be of his sister, I'm sure. Well then, just as well it's not a competition, huh? Even the nest. Three in a row. <sighs> Kisara? Anyone at home in there? Knock, knock. Sorry. Did I look distracted? Among other things. To be entirely honest, I couldn't tell whether you were smiling or frowning. You were thinking about Dohalim, weren't you? <laughs> that obvious, huh? I was just thinking how good it is to see him moving forward at last. It was always so infuriating, knowing how capable he could be if he just put his mind to it. A prisoner trapped in a cage of his own self-doubt. Mm. But now, he's finally beginning to spread his wings. I'm happy for him. So, then why do you look so sad? Oh, I don't know if I'd say sad. There's a bitter sweetness to it, I guess. It's good and... strange, knowing that he won't be needing me anymore. Hmm. It probably sounds weird, doesn't it? I have this massive worry off my mind. I should be jumping up and down for joy, right? Must be that maternal instinct of yours at work. <laughs> Rinwell's right. You're like a mother bird, finally letting go as her child takes his first shaking and nervous flight from the nest. I mean, she is the mom of the group. A pretty big child. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I wouldn't like to see Dohalim's face if he heard you say that. <laughs> All this has made me realize I can't allow myself to become a prisoner of my own making like he was. If Dohalim can forge his own path ahead, then I can too. I won't be left behind. You'll do great. With the... That's three whole skits. I still can't even fast travel. This is so weird. But... Uh, let's check. I'm only gonna step over here for the hell of it. Gotta go all the way. Well, I think next time on Tales of Arise, we'll end up trying to head to Rena. And then we'll also check some other stuff along the way. But yeah, this has been a very a great one as always. Adios, ciao, and bye-bye. Signing off until next time. Ja matane.